Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Spider-Man classic, Cyber Spider-Man. Um, this guy is missing a lot of his accessories. He does come with a bunch of little clip-on, little uh, red, like, armor shield looking pieces. I can't remember if there's a shooting projectile or maybe. I do not have any of those. He just came as I bought him, just as the figure. And there is a variant that's a light blue where the gray is and more of a brighter red where the red is. We'll go ahead and... Uh, after he finishes his 360, we'll go ahead and check out the details. Alright guys, so as I said before, there is a variant of this figure which is pretty expensive and pretty hard for me to find. So I don't know if I'll be picking up that, but um, it's basically the lighter blue where the gray is and then a lighter red on the red. So I mean, he's definitely worth checking out. He looks cool. I think he does look cool. But we'll go ahead and go over the sculpt here. I think he's got a really, I don't know much about Cyber Spider-Man, but I think he's got a really cool head sculpt. It's very different. Um, the webbing's all nicely sculpted. It's got nice uh, black paint in the webbing to bring it out. Uh, it's definitely an interesting head sculpt. I just think it looks really cool. I just like the way the eyes kind of look. It's just a totally different look. I like the silver uh, like metal along the jawline. I think that looks very cool. And coming along the back, he's got like more of that cyborg like head, almost like he's got a you know metal face underneath, and you've got the mask that's kind of clamped on there. Again, like I said, I don't know anything about Cyber Spider-Man. I probably should have done some research. So I don't... Yeah. Anyway. I'll continue on the figure. <laughs> so on the neck here, I think this looks really cool. It's got nice red coils. You can kind of see like this metal spine. I think that looks awesome. Something along here, you can kind of see that more uh, red coils, the black wash. I think that turned out great. And the silver on the neck. More of those you know, metal coils. Kind of reminds me of the Sentinel. And he's got these little spider... Uh, shoulder pads here but it's got a nice sculpt to it nice black wash nice kind of black washed over the silver gets that duller look I think that looks just really cool very cool let's see the back here it's really nice the back here is just kind of I like how it's got the spider logo right there and it's more of a flat gray then you can see some more uh, silver paint applications on more of the metal pieces here on him I'll flip them around on the front here. This is kind of interesting. You can kind of you can see definitely see right through them, but um, it's got a really cool looking chest. I just really like how the spider turned out and just the overall web sculpt with the black wash and just the, how it's you know you can see and see through them. I think that looks really cool. It's got nice silver paint applications on the outer sides here. I think that looks really cool. It's very different. Um, then coming along his arms here, you can see more like little turbines or little gears intermixed inside of the, you know the more gray uh, plastic parts here I think that looks really cool and it's got a nice red on the arms here with the webbing nice black wash continues with some more metal showing it's very interesting it's actually got this guy's got a lot of detail then coming along his hips here you can see some more silver paint applications the little, there's like the old school ball joints but and it just kind of continues with that um, black gray, but you can see inside the cracks here, you can see some more silver paint applications with those. The lining work kind of up, but you see it more on the inner leg here. Kind of continues in the front. It's pretty cool. You can see on the butt here. It looks a little funnier here. Continuing down, it's got nice silver paint applications around the knees. That looks pretty cool. Ooh. And then coming down by the feet, the feet look actually really good too. It's got a nice uh, black wash over the webbing, but you can see some more of that, you know. Almost reminds me of like a Terminator. You've got some more metal showing through. But I like how it's kind of tattered looking right there in the bottom of this foot. Looks really cool. I think a couple little heels. Heels look cool. Alright, so I'm going to go over the articulation. Um, first, right off the bat, um, Head articulation is not what I expected. Um, he just looks left and right. Cannot look up or down. At least not. I mean, there's no hinge, so I wouldn't say it's just like mine. But yeah, that would. I can't look up or down. I have a bummer. Um, it's got ball joints in the shoulders, and these are a little pliable, so you can move up. Not that much. Move forward and back. It's got an upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, wrist, nope, no forearm articulation, no wrist articulation, no hinge, no finger articulation. Uh, can rotate the abs, 
not really an ab crunch at all, but you can rotate, but not an ab crunch. Uh, no, no weight swivel. Got ball joints and legs, so he kicks forward and kicks out about that much. This one kind of tucked in, this one's not tucking in, so you can't spread a little bit further. It's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed out knees, no boot rotation. Ankles move down, they move up. Does have a slight little ankle rocker. No to articulation and no peggles to the bottom of his feet. Alright, I'll show you guys how tall Cyber Spider Man is. Alright, guys, so Cyber Spider Man stands right around, a little under six inches tall. We'll bring in the same two. Uh, we'll bring in Scarlet Spider Man and uh, Peter Parker Spider Man. So here's Scarlet. You can definitely see the head, head size difference, too. So I don't have him in the best pose to get him to stand on his own. And then here is the Peter Parker. Sorry, I'm getting the camera shaking. But, I mean, he definitely fits in well. That head joint just bugs me because he always kind of looks like he's kind of looking down to me. But, he definitely fits in scale with the other spider man um, Overall, I, I do like this figure quite a bit. Um, I, I don't, I wouldn't say he's, to me at least, I may be just sounding crazy. Um. I don't think he's worth the price that he goes for just because of I mean the sculpt is awesome that's probably what you know keeps that price up because he does look really cool but just the some of the articulation bugs me um, I, I do like the highly articulated figure especially with spider-man you want him to be nimble and you want him to be able to you know get those spider-man poses in this guy I don't feel like he can I mean he can't he can't crunch forward and his head can't look up or down I mean the to me, those are kind of key um, points of articulation that we, we do like to have with our Spider-Man. So that that's just my two cents. I mean, the other ones, you know, like the the wrists, that, that does bug me. You like to be able to rotate his wrists around. At least I do. <laughs> but overall, very cool. I love the sculpt. The paint applications are awesome. I think he looks really cool. It's just probably those three joints. The ab crunch, the neck joint, not being able to look up and down, and the you know, the forearm or wrist bothers me. But otherwise, I, I do like this figure. But, um, yeah, I was kind of shocked that about those joints. I, by looking at the picture, I thought for sure he had those. Anyway, enough of my little bit of ramble there. Um, please leave a comment, hit the like button, and thanks again for watching, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, take care, guys. Have a great night. Bye.